Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to do a little bookstore vlog. I have not been to the bookstore in actually a very long time. I can't even remember the last time I bought a book. It's been a, quite a while actually, which is pretty good for me. I've been trying to not purchase as many recently just because I'm really trying to get through my physical TBR. And I've been reading a lot of books recently this month, so I thought I would go to the bookstore. I honestly might not even buy anything. I just want to look around, see what new releases there are. I wanted to take you guys along with me. I've done one of these before, so if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. And I just think I think they're super fun. I think they're a super cozy vlog. Obviously, if you are a reader watching this, you love to spend your time in a bookstore. So living vicariously through others is something that I enjoy. So I'm sure you guys enjoy that too. So yeah, let's go ahead and get in the car and head to the bookstore. Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on soon. Yawn at the display, third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops step dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out, don't lose your youth. Cause I can stay inside and tap away inside. Oh, make today just a little less mundane. Oh, I can stay inside and tap away inside. Oh, Starbucks, what can we get started for you? Can I please have a grande ice pink drink, please? Can I get light ice, please? Mm -hmm. And that'll be all. 557. Thank you. Hi, dear. Bye. It's gonna be 557 today. Do you need a straw? No, that's okay. All right, have a good one. Thanks, you too. It's 
literally so nice out today it's like already 55 degrees all right guys i made it back i got my bag here and then i also did a stop at starbucks i don't like to go to the one in the bookstore i don't know why i just feel like my drinks are never made right or good enough there i don't know what it is every time i go into a starbucks in barnes and noble i just feel like it's not the same so i went to the one right next to barnes and noble <laughs> and i just got a pink drink because like i said it's super warm out today oh it just feels so warm the sun is shining and it's like start of spring i'm so excited so i got a pink drink it's really really good so yeah <laughs> all right let's go ahead and go through the books that i got i only got two of them the first book that i got is happy plays i did not know that they were releasing a paperback cover of this i'm so excited which makes sense because i think it usually comes out like a year after the book is published so i guess that is about the same time that this came out about a year ago i love that it also has a yellow spine too but this was just for me because if you don't know this is my all-time favorite favorite book ever <laughs> i actually started rereading this a few months ago and i only got to like page 70 or something so i still need to go and reread this i just have like so many books that i want to get to that it's kind of in like a low priority this book just has special place in my heart so i'm so happy to finally have a paperback copy of it and then the second book that i got is one that i have not seen anyone ever talk about um i just saw it sitting there and i thought it looked so pretty and i don't know it just sounded really interesting so this is called a tree grows in brooklyn by betty smith and this is actually a literary fiction i do not have many books that are literary fiction so i'm trying to think what books do i have that are literary I do have A Little Life. I believe that one is. I want to say I have one more, but I'm not for sure. So the back says, The beloved American classic about a young girl's coming of age at the turn of the 20th century. So I read that and I was like, I mean, I feel like this is probably something that I'll be able to relate to. And then the inside, it says, A tale filled with laughter and heartache, crowded with life, incident, and unforgettable characters. Smith's beloved novel tells the story of Francie Nolan and her bittersweet formative years growing up in the Williamsburg slums of Brooklyn, New York at the turn of the 20th century. The daily experiences of idealistic young Francie are raw with honesty and tenderly threaded with family connectedness. Smith has created a work of literary art that brilliantly captures a unique time and place as well as deeply resonant moments of universal experience. It just sounds really interesting. I feel like it's about a girl growing up in New York. It's probably something that I can relate to. Um, obviously not the New York part, but like growing up, you know, coming of age. I also tried to look it up on Goodreads. I did not find much on there. Like, I don't even know if, if they actually have the book itself. I thought that I found it, but then... I don't know it was just very confusing on goodreads to find i feel like i'll really enjoy it so maybe i will listen to it on audiobook on spotify i listened to jeanette mccurdy's i'm glad my mom died on audiobook and i just enjoyed it so much more especially because she was the one narrating it too but those types of books i feel like you just get a lot more out of them when you're they're actually like when you're listening to them so those are the two books that i picked up i feel like i did a really good job there were a lot of books i showed you guys a lot of books throughout the videos that i wanted to pick up so bad but i'm like i have so many books i don't need those all yeah i think that is all for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i also want to say thank you guys so so much i'm like really really close to hitting 9k and i'm sure by the time this video goes up that i will hit it i'm like 10 subscribers away literally i'm really close thank you guys so so much for subscribing to my channel i'm so glad you guys are here we've gained so many new friends in this little community so thank you guys so much i really appreciate you all being here comment down below how you found my channel whether it was like from someone else if it was on the explore page if you've been here for a long time thank you guys so much i really appreciate it but i think that is all i will see you guys in my next video bye guys so comfortable no one seems to hold me like you don't